not get order in this room already? The Secret Senate Committee to Investigate U.S. Terrorists is now in session. I, Senator Joseph McCarthy, newly brought back from the dead by mad scientist Donald Rumsfeld. Rummy, oh rummy, rummy, rummy. I am the chairman here. And on today's agenda, we are investigating two groups listed as terrorist organizations by the Bush administration, Greenpeace and PETA, the People for Ethical Treatment of Animals. The hearing will now come to order. Tomorrow's hearing will focus on Greenpeace, terrorists who actually chain themselves to trees and get on the nightly news for environmental reasons. That's right. The tree-hugging menace will be brought to swift justice, um, tomorrow night. Tonight, we're focusing on PETA. Am I right? Correct, Senator. Thank you. Heil Freedom! Heil Freedom! Everybody? Heil Freedom! Secret Freedom Policeman. Who is the first PETA terrorist? Joe Simpson of Park Slope, Brooklyn. Tree hugger? No. Jeez, what are the screws must be loose? PETA is the animal lovers. No back talk will be tolerated. Sorry, sir. Or ghost of sir. Your undeadness? Secret freedom, policeman. You have vexed me. Shoot yourself to make an example for others who might piss me off. Zig Hall! <laughs> Great. I love America. Okay, though, that leaves us a bit short-handed. Hmm, think we can make him undead, too? I miss that guy, a true patriot. Ah, oh, good, good. Now, undead secret freedom policeman, read the charges against the PETA terrorist, Joe Simpson. Mr. Simpson is charged with treason in the first degree for his ethical treatment of animals. Ethical treatment of animals? This is America, you bastard. Home of pen cattle and cruelty to veal. Home of stepping on little rodents and seeing their guts squish in the street at night in the full moon. Home of chopping up animals on the farm in the shredder. A place where free Americans can beat their dogs and neighbors' cats for the crime of pissing me off. Simpson, do you have anything to say for yourself? Yes, sir. I am not now, nor have I ever been one to treat animals in an ethical manner. I see. A very patriotic answer. But we'll see how you hold up under my undead, drunken cross-examination. You do not favor the ethical treatment of animals, sir? That is correct. I am not now, nor have I ever been ethical in my treatment of animals. How would you drown a kitten? Drown a kitten? Drown a kitten? Why would you drown a kitten? You would drown a kitten if the kitten pissed me off! Quick now, burlap sack or cinder block and a rope. I don't know. The sack? Liar! The sack would float and the dirty communist kitten would escape and form a terror cell and piss me off! Guard, shoot yourself again for emphasis. Uh, okay, patch him up, patch him up. Let's get him all better. What are you waiting for? Come on, hurry up! I like that guy. He was a true American. Simpson, where should one stab a dog? A dog that pissed you off? Secret freedom, policeman. Am I making myself clear? Look, Senator, you don't need to put me on charges like this. I'm a good American. And anyway, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals is not a terrorist group. That's just President Bush being an asshole. We don't like cruelty veal farms and fur cages where the animals are stacked 20 feet high and poop on each other. 
We don't think makeup should be tested on rabbits' eyes. We... We? I mean, they. Of course, I wouldn't know the first thing about animals. Would you? Oh, yeah? Then what's that under your coat? It's a rash, sir. I'm not gonna have any braids left when this is over. And that's when you will be promoted to head FEMA. Simpson, the coat. Come on, Mr. Bonkers. You've got to be still. The government assholes want to kill us both and replace everyone with brain-dead secret police freedom things. No, stop it. It tickles. Simpson, who are you talking to, boy? Uh, nobody, your undead drunkenness. Mm, your implements. Uh... uh... Something's up here. Guard, get me a drink. Okay, kitty. Let's stay cool. One leader of Jack Jen is coming up, sir! Leader? Leader? That's a European communist unit of measure. Communists! Communists! Shoot yourself again for your insolence and get me a good old American gallon. Oh boy. Here we go. Okay, Mr. Bonkers, you can come out now. Can we just freaking go? I don't know. I don't even have an adrenal cortex anymore. What do you think, Kitty? Mr. Bonkers says we can go. Maybe I'm thinking with the little head instead of the big head. But what pussy wants, pussy gets. Oy vey. Let's go. Hey, do you want us here the same time tomorrow? You've got to ask the nice kitty. Me lie down now. People, you there, in the crowd. And you, watching on C-SPAN. People, this is insanity. Most of the prisoners at Guantanamo Bay have done nothing more than bring in a wounded squirrel to the vet or to try to save a Civil War oak tree in their community. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals is listed as a terrorist group by the Bush Cabal. Nelson Mandela was even listed as a terrorist under Reagan. Can we not see this madness and see through the lies? Hail freedom! Hail freedom? Freedom is used today as a tool for fear. And Mr. Bonkers here says, no more fear. No. Meow, no. meow. You there, all you brain dead Americans, for I know you have been killed and revived many times by the Bushies. You out there, heed the word of Mr. Bonkers. Let it no longer be a crime to respect civil liberties and animal rights. Meow, 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 meow. Yes, meow. Did a cat ever lie to you? No. no. Did a cat ever start a war? No. no. Sure, they pee on the rug every so often, but did a cat ever make free men into prisoners for their beliefs? No. Meow. 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 America, heed the meow of true freedom. Meow. Free the prisoners now. Today, jail the leaders who make us undead zombies. There is nothing to fear but fear itself. Meow. Meow. Yeah, now yeah, off to yeah, Cuba with you yeah, to set yeah, free yeah, Bush's prisoners. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, we change the yeah, litter in the White House yeah, and raise the flag of Mr. Bonkers. Because even a cat named Mr. Bonkers has more sense in his left paw than the whole disastrous Bush administration. Nice Meow! Kid. Meow! 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 Okay, kitty. Let's blow this taco stand and get some tuna. What do you say? Meow. Daddy loves little kid. Meow. 